What up, YouTube? Super Mazaku here, and we in the bathroom with it today. Um, I don't know. I just want to hear the elbow and shit. I don't know. Fuck it. Um, Boruto episode. Fuck. What, 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 what episode is this? I don't know, nigga. Oh, man. <laughs> and once more, um, I, I don't know, man. Um,. I don't know. First off, um, I, I'm more confused if, um, I don't think I'm a lot. When did this, did these seven Miss Sword niggas find any time to fuck? When did Ryga dip his nuts in something? I, I, when did he do that? Here's the, here, here's the fucked up thing about Ryga, you know. He was originally a filler character. F I L L E R. He was a filler character. Then Mashashi made him canon, which kind of fucks the story up because it's like, well, this canon character died in a fucking filler episode. Thanks to Naruto and his and his niggas. And now that it's like knowledge that will never be known here because it's like, oh shit, we gotta pretend like that shit didn't happen. No. Y'all deemed Raga Cannon like a dumbass. Naruto and Eji and them killed this nigga. Oh, it caused him to kill himself, whatever fucking way he died. And his daughter is here like, yeah, listen. They lucky this bitch don't know how her pop died. They fucking, first off, she need to think of some weird shit about her pop. This nigga had a whole daughter. But he roaming the world with some nigga named Ren Morrow who like five years old looking at niggas chopper and shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's up with her pop. But listen, homie. If this bitch knew that thanks to Naruto, her pop was dead, the Boruto would have been dead by now. Because listen, I understand Boruto got all this extra shit. These motherfuckers got, um, the, you know, the swords of the seven ninja swordsmen. And they're, I guess these are the new generation swordsmen. First impression, not impressed. <laughs> Not impressed at all. And I'm guessing there's some kind of, some type of like relation or maybe like a clan relation because it, I think there's two people in this, uh you know, source thing who parent was a seven inch source. It was this Raiga and the, I don't know, that bitch with that weird fucking like cable source saying my father held this shit or whatever. Okay, cool. That means the father was the dude. I forgot his fucking name. But it's like, you know, when these niggas find time to fuck, they were, I, I, hey, I don't know. I don't know. Um, first off, I'm still waiting to see if, um, damn, I don't know this nigga name, if, if the dude is Kisame's son or relative. I think it's just a relative, like part of the same clan. All these motherfuckers click blatant the shit out this fucking bullshit saying Kisame's son did it. It was never stated he was a son. Can y'all please stop doing that? This is why I don't respect chubby viewers. I don't, I don't, that's weird. I don't respect that shit. Don't do that. Stop clickbaiting. It's not confirmed his son yet. If later, if then confirms his son, then you can put this shit in the title. Until then, no, that, that's, that's weird shit. Stop it. Please stop that. Burrito annoyed the shit out of me. Try first off, once these niggas. Took the swords. It's out of this whole field trips bit. Right? Stop it, Burrito. You're literally like trying to, you know, threaten or blackmail the fucking Mizukage. He's trying to protect y'all because them dumbass niggas tried to kill y'all or fuck y'all up at least. And you like, no, because Kagura. This shit reminds me of the fucking Naruto Sasuke story part one, where Sasuke is clearly in the fucking wrong and needs to be dealt with. No, we, I love him, my best. And then Boruto just met this nigga, man. Please let Boruto meet Sasuke so he can stop these bullshit fucking Naruto part one tendencies. I'm tired of seeing the bullshit. It's not fun. It's not entertaining. It's a big fucking headache. Big fucking head to see Boruto act like this. What the fuck? Field trip. Fuck this field trip. 
Once they try to murk our niggas the first time, fuck the field trip. They're trying to start a fucking war. It's not a child's game anymore. And this shitty ass Tojuro said, Well, I guess if I pretend it's a child's game, child's fighting, it should be okay. No. No. It, no. That's not how shit works. This is not how shit works. These niggas is pissed off, rightfully so, because you did kind of erase their entire family names because they're criminals. And these guys had to live a certain way because of that decision. That's justified. That's justified. I understand, you know, you want to erase any bad things to help them. Listen, but when they know who their parents are, it's a problem. It's a fucking problem. It's a fucking problem that could probably never be fixed, you know? Or maybe you're just accepted for what it is, and then you move on from that. But to try to erase their heritage, what, what the fuck you think was going to happen? Stupid fucking move. If this was uh, what me to roommate was like, you know, hinting as I'm making this, uh, you know, the hit and miss better place as we speak type shit during Shippuden, then you really wasn't. Because look what's happening now. Niggas want to start a war. Niggas trying to start a war because of this bullshit. You guys aren't doing a good job here. So, clean it up. Um, Sabra's pretty cool in this episode, I guess, whatever. Um, she just didn't want to do much, you know. <sighs> Kagura, I don't know what he's doing. I still fuck with him. It's my nigga. Um, don't know what his true motive is. Most likely, you know, get him the swords and trade on him. But it'd be weird because it's like you had a better choice of fighting them when they didn't have the sword. So uh, I, I'm not sure what's happening. But it seems like he'll do anything for Hoshigaki. Sir Hurst Hoshigaki. Hoshigaki. Because he cut his chest. Okay. I guess he feels in debt, in, in debt to him. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, I'm not impressed with these new swordsmen, man. <laughs> not impressed. Bullshit. It was never passed down to them. They just took the title and claimed it. Whatever. Garbage. Garbage writing. Lazy as shit. Burrito is a, is a fucking spaz. He's a fucking spaz. Kagura turned into a tool. Tojiro is a fucking bitch of a Mizukage. Kill these niggas. And the fact that this motherfucker shed blood from these fuck niggas. It's like, yo, like, you a Kage? You sure? Are you sure? Are you fucking sure that you a Kage? You sure? I'm not that fucking sure. I'm not that sure. Mm-mm. You allowed yourself to get... Uh, it better be some kind of... uh, It gotta be some kind of payout or some... Something, man. It gotta be catch. He, the next episode hopefully confirms that he let himself get caught on purpose, man. Because that... Mm, no, that that, that doesn't... Mm, just don't sit right with me. They don't sit right with me. Fucking stupid ass way to get caught. Uh, Looks like Berto's gonna be fighting um Kizuma. I believe that's his name. But Shizuma... He's going to get fucked up. Um, or if he fights Kagura, he's again going to get fucked up. This bird's at this level. It's not touching these niggas. Somebody's going to have to save him. It looks like Saura's going to have to fight on um, the one with the keyboard swords, the lightning keyboard swords. Um, she should win this one. And to be honest, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to the Saura fight. Most, you know, mostly because I feel like it's going to bring me back. It's going to bring me back to that Naruto first arc feel when Sasuke... When he only had, you know, his one Tomo Sharingan fighting, uh, you know, what's his name? Fuck his name. Haku, who was aligned, of course, with another seven ninja swordsmen, Zabuza, and how he had to, you know, maneuver, you know, to learn how to beat him. And that was the Sasuke's first test with the Sharingan. And this is going to be Sawada's first test with the Sharingan in a similar playing field, you know? But they're all the mist around and everything. This is cool. That That's nostalgia. That's good writing. Burry told the way he talking and acting, that's not good right. That's not good right. I don't know. Fix it, man. Fix the shit. Fix the shit. Um, the episode, you know, it wasn't that bad, which, which sucks. It's Burrito's dialogue that kind of dragged this down. And Chojiro's actions that really, really, really dragged this shit down. It's like, listen. 
you don't let yourself get blackmailed by an 11 year old. You're Mizukage. You're the fucking Mizukage. What, what is, what's going on? The fuck is going on? Smack the shit out of him. Fuck out my way, my village, bitch, I'ma kill him. Oh, I'ma tell my daddy. That's the, that's the reason why this shit happened, man. Fuck out my face, man. Um, episode rating is 6 out of 10. It wasn't that good. Thanks to that bullshit. Um, piss me off. Animation is good as always. Uh, Sizama is, is good as always. Sword, the source men or woman, there's half of these, half of them bitches. Whatever. Whatever. Um, the Seema Miski and, um, fucking, um, Sui Getsu. I was, um, I thought Sui Getsu was gonna come just to steal his sword back. Or, you know, get the sword back, you know, the Zabuza pass, whatever that shit is. But that's not it. He's here to make sure that Miski don't go sage mode ape shit on these niggas. That's it. That's why he's here. To make sure Miski doesn't go say because they already gonna know shit. This nigga Rochimaru, yada yada, what did Rochimaru did to this boy, or blah blah blah. And everybody wanted Rochimaru's ass again. And then he like, fuck man, I'm trying to trying to do me. Y'all won't let me do me. And that's that's, that's pretty it. Pretty much it. Uh the scene where uh so we got to, to kill Shikai die and uh you know Jim was pretty cool. He we know and he said he was just scaring him. If he would have did that, that nigga would have been dead the next day. Mm mm. Shikamaru would have fucking killed that nigga. Fuck out of here. Shikamaru would have dealt with that nigga. Easy work. Easy work. What else happened here? Oh, man. I don't know. Not much. Not much. Uh, one um, one thing I also didn't like is them we explaining the, re you know, the sword saying, The sword, the keep on lightning. It helps me do this. Oh, I have to thread shit. I'm like, yo, I'm watching the episode of Power Rangers. Like, I know what they do. I know what the fuck they do. Y'all don't all know y'all little dialogue saying what they doing, doing a little pose and shit. It's not fucking Power Rangers. I know what the fuck they are. They don't need to be reintroduced. Any real fan knows what the fuck they is. Y'all don't gotta, oh, lightning, cable sword. No. What the fuck is y'all? I'm a grown ass man. I don't wanna see that. Do better, man. Do better.